black workers are less likely to be employed at every level of education. And when they're employed, they're often employed in jobs that don't even utilize their full skill set. That is, they're you know, underemployed. And that's particularly the case for black women workers. And we can dig into that research literature and really see those studies showing that when the identical resumes are sent out, with the only difference is being a either a black or white coded name on that resume, the white resumes receive more callbacks. Um, and, in all, and in some cases, white coded resumes receive more callbacks than black ones, uh, even when those white ones have a criminal record associated with them. So that so understanding holding those facts in your mind makes it exceedingly difficult to individualize black labor market outcomes. And you can do similar sorts of investigations with the segregation of black workers into jobs without the same sorts of benefits and flexibility that white workers have access to, or you know, even the wealth position of black versus white households. And so we got to understand that our economy is structured the way that it is because of a series of political economic decisions made across its history, right? So it's conscious rules that were made and unmade and opportunities extended to certain groups and kept from others. Injustices allowed to persist uh, without recourse or any redress given to the victims of those injustices, right? Uh, we only see, you know, that American mindset only allows us to see the economy as the outcome of individual actors making individual decisions because one, we aren't taught our history and we aren't taught the ways that the economy as it exists benefits certain groups at the expense of others. Or worse, uh, in the case of lots of economics education, I'm somewhat ashamed to say, you know, uh, we're taught in ways that preclude our understanding of the economy as in, in anything but individualistic terms. And so what's the overarching point here? That we have to change if we can change the frameworks that we use to process information by one, learning our history and rejecting this idea that the advantages and disadvantages faced by groups, you know, particularly white and black Americans, has come down to decisions made by individuals in those groups, we can start to ask different questions about the disparities we see, right? Questions like one, who benefits when black and white workers are segregated into op occupations with differing pay benefits and promotional ladders, right? What would happen if workers didn't, you know, in practice, fear they were gonna lose their job if they raised discrimination complaints against their employers. You know, how would the economy look different if the government guaranteed a job to everybody who sought one, right? Who would gain in those situations? Who would lose? If you ask those different questions, you start to get, that's the only way you get different answers that can change some of these long-term trends. So ultimately what we have to do, we gotta get rid of this idea, to disabuse ourselves of this idea that the way to fix racial disparities in this country is by fixing black people. Right. It's not necessarily we don't have to train them more, get them more college, teach them financial literacy, improve their health behaviors. And it's not that those things aren't beneficial or can't be beneficial at an individual level uh, or even good for their own sake. It's just that promoting them as the solutions to the problems black people face as a group um, relies on this inherent assumption that black people are somehow different and deficient as compared to other groups. You know, black people are they're just people right, who have been made to endure this history of injustice across generations, that if that were experienced by any other group, it would leave those groups in the same state that Black Americans are in now. So the solutions, we have to focus on stopping those injustices where they exist today, uh, uh, redressing the harm uh, caused by the past, and then rebuilding the institutions with the knowledge that, uh, that can prevent that stuff from happening you know, as we move in, into the future.